Have you turned some things off on your Joomla site, but they're still running like zombies? I have a Joomla site that I wanted to shut a bunch of features down, but some of them are still running. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I did wrong or what I forgot. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 210 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite uh, extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, so if you're looking to hire someone short-term or long-term for your project, hit me up, tim at cybersalt.com. Today's video is brought to you by mysites.guru. Head on over to mysites.guru, get a free site audit for your Joomla site, and while you're there, check out all the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA and you'll get your first month free. All right, so uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, in a maintenance, uh, in a washing work live stream, we uh, converted or migrated the shahelashilos.com website from Joomla 3 to Joomla 4, and we did it successfully. And you maybe remember that's a, a site that belongs to a friend of mine. Uh, she passed away, and so uh, I am just uh, turning that site down just with a memorial link for her service. And so as I uh, updated that site, we got rid of the temp uh, we got rid of the menu on the template. I just wanted the page there. And I thought that that was great because people would just go and they wouldn't be able to navigate to anything else. But what I forgot was is that uh, I didn't turn off some of those functions. And a form on that site started getting abused by a bot and I couldn't figure out where that was coming from. So let's turn our attention to the screen here and I'll show you what I did wrong. All right, so here we are. That's the email that I got. Now I've been having problems on my server with uh, with email blacklist and I could not figure out what the issue was. It might be this, because as you'll see here, I got this warning message. I noticed when I was managing uh, my friend's husband's uh, emails that uh, the site had sent out a uh, an email and it was being bounced back and the uh, the uh, address it was sending to was rambler.ru so that was the real the .ru was a real uh, clue that uh, a bot had done something and as we looked here the actual message and I looked at the attachment that came here was subject thank you for your submission and that told me that there was a form a contact form or a form on the site that was still working and clearly I had not shut it off properly so for instance if we uh, go to the home page of that site here let's see I'm already logged in the back end here's the home page like I said no menu at all uh, nothing for them to click on so when they go to the site they just see this but what I forgot was that even though the menu might not be visible on the page uh, if those URLs are known in a search engine or a database or a bot has been spidering sites or, or, or whatever, um, those pages will still work. So as we look at the uh, administrator uh, control panel area of Joomla 4 here, we can go to content and articles. And oh, I have to log in there again. All right, content and articles. And I'm going to just search for contact. And because uh, I've always been preparing for this, I have this article here, the contact us article, and it's published. So that's, and it's public. So that's available to anyone that wants to access that page, regardless of whether the menu is published or not. Um, and as we click on contact us, well, actually the menu is published. It's just not appearing on the site. Uh, as you will see here, this uh, contact page is just a simple form and it's embedded with RS Form 3 here. So um, I can go back to uh, the uh, home menu here, home dashboard, components, go RS Form Pro and manage forms. And we'll see that that contact us form is still published. And when I look to see the submissions on it, 
There's when the submission happened, November 25th. There's the rambler.ru address. So just remember, and here I'm going to pr proceed to shut this stuff off. Uh, just remember that even though you might not have a menu visible on your Joomla site, if the menu is published and the items it's linking to are published, then those things are still accessible. And so you just need to turn those off or unpublish them. So in this case, we'll go to manage forms and I'm going to click and unpublish. We'll go to content and articles and I'm going to unpublish that. And what I'm going to have to do too is go through some more things on this site, unpublish pages and recreate uh, and create a redirect or a rewrite your uh, a rule in the HD access file that will take all traffic and send it to the home page because really I just want this to be a static site. So uh, keep that in mind. When you're uh, turning features off on your site, you have to do more than just not have the menu present on the page. You need to shut some things down and unpublish them. I will probably unpublish the menu link to contact as well. I uh, hope that was helpful for you. Hope the intro wasn't too scary for you. And uh, until the next time, uh, hey, if that did help you, please subscribe to the channel. Now, until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.